Hey sunshines, welcome back to my channel. I am Liza Jane and some of you may also know me as Liza Lux. Yes, I've got shorties. A lot of you have been asking for dreadlock styles for shorties and I guess I can do those now. I've only been like this for a few days, so you're gonna have to take it easy on me. We are going to start out with some simple styles, so let's go. I'm just gonna be using basic bands, things you have around the house, and if you don't, they're a couple bucks at any convenience store or grocery store. This is gonna be super easy. We are just going to kind of split our hair. I don't like it in the middle. So we are gonna do them off to the side. And these are your basic piggies. You call them pigtails, piggies, ponytails? I always call them piggies. Another super easy style is because you can't do the normal space fun. It's a little trickier when your hair is short, but all you're going to do is twist. And everybody's locks are different, so you just go with the twist. <laughs> it's so much different because I had such long ends that I could tuck with, and now it's just kind of plain and messing around with hair that is shorter and kind of seeing what it will do, you know, because it isn't as easy as my long locks. And I get that. I, I totally get that, what you guys have been saying all this time. <laughs> but we are going to work with it. Yes, they're going to poke out. It's okay. Tuck them in where you can. This is a twist on space buns for shorties. <laughs> I love a braid and so what I'm gonna do is show you that you can still do a French braid in fact I believe it's easier to braid with dreadlocks than it is with normal hair so take advantage of that fact and when you French braid all you're doing is adding a lock each time you go down add another lock makes it really easy to learn to French braid you could bring it down and tie it. And just have this. You could even go to the other side and do the same exact thing. Now this is a way to get your hair out of your eyes which I know can be a problem with shorties, is getting it up and out of the way. Braids will help you do this, and they're really not hard. Now, if your locks are thicker, you might not wanna grab one every time you go down, or you may just wanna do a simple braid, which, do it. So, I'm just gonna braid this one all the way down, even though it's longer than the other side, and I'm finding that out now. Things I did not know. So, put this together. I wouldn't leave them like that, but I do think that it could be super cute tied together, tying the rubber band around the two. And I think that looks really nice in the front and then in the back. I don't know what it looks like, so you'll have to tell me. <laughs> But I think it could be really fun. And if you want to switch it up, pull those other locks in. Yes, I've used four hair ties so far, but up and out of the way. And I think it looks really cute. One simple idea that I've done just in the last few days, just to get my hair up out of my face is just the bun on top of the head. So you're just holding here, 
wrap around that pointer finger. Now, I could do this without ever using a hair tie with my long logs. It's not as easy with shorties. So use your little rubber bands. These are your best friend. <laughs> you might wanna have them in your car, in your bathroom, in your bedroom, in your kitchen. But I think that is super cute. And it's fun and it's out of the way, it's secure, you're good. You're good. We're just gonna move the braid to a different position. And this is, I'm gonna grab two for each finger. We'll do that. It's slightly parted in the middle. And all we're gonna do is braid all the way back. And just get it out of your face. I mean, cause isn't that really the point is, I mean, it's fun to have different styles and stuff, but logistically, it's just so nice to get it out of your face sometimes. And if you're seeing the same people over and over again, you do sometimes want them to think that you style your locks. <laughs> you're not always shaggy and running around with it down, unless you are like me. <laughs> and just do the same thing on the other side. I'm not French braiding. You could French braid, but I am actually just braiding. I think this is gonna be super cute. And the thing that you can do when them going back like this is, oh God, why does my heater have to go on? I'm trying to turn that off. So you have these two braids, just like that. Get my heater off. Okay, so then what you can do if you have these two braids is you could totally do piggies in the back. If your locks are a little bit longer than mine, or if you have long locks, you could do buns right in the back, and I think that would be super cute to have two buns, but. I have two pigtails, but wait, you could also do just one. There's just so many options when you have braids, and I think that braids somehow make everything look tidier and better when you have locks. So you could have those two and just put them into one. Easy breezy. For fun, we're gonna see what this is like. If I can get it around all my locks. I forget that my locks are just as thick. Just because they're short doesn't mean they're any less thick. I can do the pineapple. Can you do the pineapple? Don't forget, you can kind of fool the bun if you put it up in a pineapple or a ponytail. You can mess with it. And kind of curve it around up here and sheet. And yes, you'll have some poking up. Telling the world they're short, but you can also just keep up and adding rubber bands to get them all in. I'm gonna use four, cause why not? Four is a beautiful number. Who said we couldn't have a bun? <laughs> I get it, it's so different with shorties. 
but you can have fun with them and I hope that even though this wasn't like high-tech styles and most of them maybe you already do but I wanted to show you that there's so many easy ways you can have fun with shorties and it doesn't have to be boring and it doesn't have to be your hair down all the time I just hope that I give you um, a little hope and a little bit of push to just play with them and have fun and some things are gonna be silly and some things you're gonna fall in love with and use every day so be open to trying new things and seeing how you can work with your little shorties and how they can work with you I am really liking mine wild and free these days I'm not gonna lie it feels so good to just have them bouncing around and I really really do love that part about my shorties and flipping them back and forth and I don't know I love my bangs so much more now that my hair is this length and that makes me happy I don't know what I'm gonna do with the color so you can comment below and tell me what your vote is for the color if you like this video and you look forward to more short styles we'll see what I can do with short locks stay tuned subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you don't want to miss out on any future uploads I upload on Mondays and Thursdays you can also find me on Instagram Liza underscore locks I hope you guys have an absolutely fabulous day. Thanks so much. There's always a dog barking at my house. Oh God, one thing that's been awful is sleeping with beads. I just have one in on the front because having them all up so close to my head and trying to sleep at night is kind of annoying. So, I don't, know what I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I don't know if I'm gonna get used to it or just try to center on beads around my face. <laughs> that might be the ticket for a while. And also my wraps are all long. That's kind of a bummer. And I'm simply, I'm short hair ideas, not so easy. Mm. Mm.